If you're running a Shopify store in 2025, these three apps will help you make more money on each order, will keep your customers coming back for more, and will help you get more traffic to your website without you having to pay for it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for, click the subscribe button and let's jump right into it. One of the simplest ways to get customers to buy more is to offer them a bonus or a gift. And this is exactly what the Bogos app helps you do. To get Bogos installed on your Shopify store, you have to check out the description where I have a link for you or you can just find it on the Shopify's app store. And in here, you're gonna have a link to check out their demo store where you can see the options that they offer. And usually I'm interested in the free gift options because these worked better for me, but you can go ahead and check out all their features. I'm just gonna show you the ones that I use the most. And in my case, the free gift auto ad is the winner, but you can go ahead and check out the other ones as well. So the free gift auto ad is actually adding a free gift inside the cart when the customer reaches a certain level, they spend a certain amount of money and so on. You can also use the buy X, get Y. So if they buy something, they might get something else. Buy one and get one. This is another one that I use sometimes. But let's check out the first one. So free gift auto ad works something like this. You also have the option to display a badge like that on your product card to make sure that people know that this has a free gift. So if I go on this product page or actually I can also do it from here, from the collection page. So if I choose an option from here and I add it to the cart. This will trigger a free gift to get added to that cart. As you can see, the free gift was added on top of the original product. If I remove this product from the cart, the gift gets also removed, which is good. So this is free gift with purchase. Let's check the other ones as well. So we have here spend X, get Y. So if I check the rules, spend 100, get a free gray nail polish. Let's add which one? this one over here and I'm gonna add this one to cart. Now we are not at 100 yet. If I add one more, I'm gonna get another product added to cart. So I bought X and I got Y. Let's check the other ones. We have here also buy one, get one, which is useful sometimes. Let me remove this ones. In this case, we're just gonna get one for one. So if I add this product to cart, I'm gonna get a free item added to the cart. And now if I go to this one, which has a price and I multiply it, this one also multiplies. So we have now two gifts, three gifts, and so on. It depends on what the customer is buying. But let's go back and let's create a free gift with purchase auto ad campaign on a different store. On my Shopify store, I have now the Bogos app installed and all I have to do is go to it and make sure that the app is enabled. And once I know that it is enabled, we can go to all offers here and to create offer. And from the offer list, you can check out all the offers they have here. I'm gonna choose the gift offer and I'm gonna start with that. And in here, I'm going to select the card value with gifts. So spend X amount to get a gift. I'm gonna select this one and I'm going to create offer. And this is really, really easy to set up. You're just going to name your offer right here. This will be displayed on the side, so choose a proper name for it. So I'm going to name it spend 50 to get a free gift. And then you can choose a time for this campaign to start and to end. I'm just going to leave it as it is because I want it to start now and I want to be able to disable it myself later. Then we have here offer main condition and the condition for this campaign is the card value should be over 50. So I'm going to make that 50. Then I'm going to go lower and I'm going to select the products my condition will apply to. In my case, any products. If you want to apply the condition to just some products, you can choose it from here. Really easy. And then if you want to stack conditions you can go ahead and add one more condition on top of this one but for me this is it and as we have main conditions here which have to do with the value of the card and the number of items in the card we have here sub conditions this have to do with the customers history and so on so if you want to add a sub condition to offer this to just some of your customers you can also filter like that then underneath here I can select the gift and I would want to give a product gift not a discount gift gift so you can also give a discounts as gifts so product gift and I want to give it for free so this will be 100% off then I'm going to select here number of gifts the customer can get one 
So if you want to give them more, you can select those from there. And then you can select which of the products you want to give as a gift. And in my case, I want to give one of these bad bombs that I have on my store as a gift. So I'm going to just select this one and I'm going to click on select. And now I have my gift listed underneath. And we have here some advanced configurations. I usually don't touch them, but you can check them out and see if you want to turn anything on in there. And now we are done. I can go ahead and publish my, my campaign. So by hitting publish, the campaign became active and we can already check it on the site. As you can see, we have this widget over here. And if I click it, I have on this information, spend 50 to get a free gift. And I have the free gift over here. If I go to my products, let's say I want to shop soaps, I'm going to add products to my cart. I'm going to add two of these so that I can pass the $50 mark. I'm going to get then the free gift inside the cart. Now, if I go to checkout, this product will be marked as free in there. So the customer gets a free gift. As I said, Bogos has a lot of free gift options. We have the auto add one that I just used, then spend X, get Y, buy one, get one, buy X, get Y. You can go ahead and check them out. Bogos is a highly rated app. Check out the link in the description or find them in the Shopify's app store. While Bogos helps customers spend more in a single visit, the next app makes sure they keep coming back by rewarding them. Next we have Retenzi. I've worked on a lot of brands in the past and a huge chunk of the income those brands were bringing in was generated by recurring customers. Customers that were happy with their products and with their services and they all had in common one thing, a loyalty program. And usually good loyalty apps on the Shopify store have a high cost. If you've been researching this, you might know that. But Retenzi is not in that bucket. At least at this moment, Retenzi has a free tier and it's not that expensive to use. And the kicker is they are not just offering loyalty, they also have reviews inside. Once you have Retenzi installed, you're going to want to configure rewards. You're going to go to this section over here and click the button. And then you're going to be sent to this page where you're going to be able to go in the customizer and enable the app from there, the integration. So you're going to be sent to the customizer and the toggle will be turned on. Then you're going to save. Now the app will be enabled on your store. Then back in the dashboard here, if I refer to page now, this step will be completed. Then I'm going to go lower to customize rewards widget and I'm going to click on enable here. I'm going to be sent to this customizer and I would want to add here different colors. So for example, in my store, I have this green that I would like to use. So I'm going to go back to the Retenzi dashboard and I'm going to choose the colors from here. So instead of this black, I'm going to replace it with this green, which looks nice. Then I can go through all the other settings in there. So widget shape, we can change some things in there. Placement, I like it on the left like it is right now. So you have left bottom, then display icon settings. I can choose this setting instead of that. Then display text settings, I can leave it as it is. Animation, I can leave it as it is. And then when I'm done, I can click on save. Now, if you want to change the name of the store in there, you can go to settings and change it from here. I just want to add here a big S like that. So I'm going to submit. And if I go back to the widget, now the store name is spelled like this. I'm going to go back to the rewards dashboard to see what steps I have left here. Set up the earn rewards. I'm going to set it up right now. I'm going to be sent there and I can change how I name my points. If you have something particular to your brand, you can add it in here. Then you can add the rewards you want to give. So for sign up, for example, the customer gets 200 points. If you want to change that, you can click on edit. Let's we want to give 250 points for sign up we're going to say 250 and then you're going to click on publish right now it was inactive so after i click on publish it's going to become active and you can see it right here then place an order it's going to give one point for each dollar spent if we want to change that we can go ahead and give 10 points for each dollar and we can publish that as well now these two are published Notice that underneath you have other options like reward for birthday, then reward for a review. And this is very important. Collecting reviews and giving incentives for customers to leave your review is very important for a store. But these are all under the paid plan. So if you want to try Retenzi out, you can try it with just these two options in the beginning. And then if you think this works out for you, you can unlock the other options as well. We have here rewards for social media actions like 
follow on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and there are others in here, Pinterest, YouTube, X, and TikTok, and this will also be beneficial for your social media presence. Then if you want the points to expire, you can go ahead and set an expiration date for those points and some email settings to let your customers know when their points will expire so that they maybe go and spend them. Okay, now that we've set what rewards are given, we can set up how the rewards can be redeemed. So in here in redeem rewards, we're going to have a couple of ways listed here. Now we are offering two ways for the customers to redeem their points, $5 for 500 points, $10 for 1000 points, and we can add more ways to redeem from here. We can add discounts, we can add free shipping, we can add free products, but some of them, again, they are under the paid plan. This also offers a referral program, so you can click on it, and then inside here, you can turn it on and enable. Then you can set in here how much the customer gets and how much their friend gets. So whenever they have a friend that uses the same product, they can refer them, they can get a discount themselves and the friend can get a discount also. And now that I've set up everything in here, I can go and I can view the widget on my store and it's already saying that I have 250 points and that is because I've signed up. And if I click on it, I can see this pop up and it says that I have 250 points, then I can earn by doing this action so first I signed up and I got this 250 points. Now if I place an order, I'm going to get 10 points for each dollar that I spend. At this moment, I cannot redeem the points because I need 500 in order to get the first reward, which is $5 of the order. And in order to get to that, I'm going to have to go ahead and buy some products because these are the only options that I have, the sign up and then place an order. Under a paid plan, I would be able to also follow on Facebook, follow on Instagram and all the other options that I have in there maybe on my birthday I can get some points and then I can go ahead and spend them then underneath here we have the referral program where I as a customer I can copy this link and I can give it to a friend of mine so that they can buy and then they get a discount and I get a discount and at the bottom we have here a short explanation I think a program like this can help Shopify store retain their customers given that their products are good quality again if you want to check out Retenzi check the description for the link or you can can find them on the Shopify's app store as well. While the first two apps help you increase your sales and keep your customers coming back, the third app ensures that new customers can discover your store. Next we have SEO and. Okay, getting people to spend more on our store is really important. Having people come back to our store to redeem rewards is also really, really good. But one equal, if not more important aspect is having more people come on our store without us spending a lot of money on ads. And that's where SEO and comes in. SEO is a long-term aspect that will ensure that you have a good visibility online and any store should be optimized for SEO. SEO and has a really nice dashboard where you can see where you stand from the SEO standpoint and two areas that I constantly use and I spend the most time in are the keyword research where I research my products and the content optimization tab where you can optimize your products, your pages and so on. And usually I go to my content optimization tab and I check out the scores that I have. This is a dummy store and I didn't do any SEO work on it. As you can see, I score really poorly on my products, but usually I would want to score as high as possible as I am with this product over here and maybe more than that and this takes work if you know SEO is not that sexy it's not that easy to do before tools like SEO and we would have to kind of guess at what percentage we are in the optimization process now because of this visual representation things are much clearer for example if I would want to optimize one of these products let's say this one over here I would click on it and I'm going to get the details page for it. We have here all the things that are wrong on this page. So with red mark like that. And as I said, prior to the optimization process, I would go in the keyword research area and I would look for keywords for each of my products and for this one as well. I would need a focus keyword for this. And then I would take all of these errors here and I would try to address them. This would take a lot of time to have them all checked out and fixed, but luckily 
we are living in the AI era where we can use AI to do this for us. And as you can see, SEO Ant has AI built right in. So we can just go and click this button here, AI auto optimize and things will get fixed automatically. Let's just go and do that. So I'm going to click on that. And after a couple of seconds, I have here everything that I need for this product to rank better. Of course, you would have to go ahead and check everything and see if things are right in there. And if everything checks out, you can go ahead and accept them all. So I'm going to click on accept all and things will get changed in here as well. We are already scoring 70. Now, if I want to improve this score even more, I can go and I can take these issues one by one. For example, this one that says target keyword should be included inside the title. I can get the keyword from here. Of course, you would have to compile a new title that looks good. You cannot just add it in there like that. But I'm going to add it like that. We are at 78. Let's see what other things we can do. It says that we have to add one to four pictures in the description. Let's go ahead and add at least one. So I'm going to just go at one point here and I'm just going to insert a random image I have on my desktop. Imagine that this is a relevant image and I'm going to also add an alt text in here. So alternative description, I'm going to say random image. You would normally add the title of the product and the angle the image was taken at, but I'm going to just leave it like that. So I'm going to click on save and let's see if that improves our score. Yeah, we are now at 83. Let's see if we have something else I can do. If I go down below here, it says that target keyword should be included in the meta description. Let's do that. So I'm going to take my target keyword and I'm going to go with it at the meta description, which is right here. And I'm going to add it like this. You would have to go and craft a meta description, not just add the focus keyword in there like that. Let's see what that does. And yeah, we are now at 90%. As you can see in a couple of moments, I took a product from red to 90%. Now I can go ahead and I can save and I can repeat this process with all my products or the important products at least. And this will ensure that my store will rank better on Google and Google will reward me with more organic traffic. If you're interested in SEO and you're going to find the link in the description. And of course, you can find them on the Shopify's app store as well. So which do you think it's more important? Get your customers to spend more, keep them coming back or acquiring new shoppers. Leave me a comment. And if you're interested in more tips like this, check the video on the screen, click it and I'll see you there.